Thank you very much for fitting me in. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Um, I wanted to just, before jumping specifically to the beaver, if I could ask some big, big picture stuff. Uh, okay. When was the, do you remember when the first time was that you acted and also the moment, whether there was a moment or a, uh, an event or something that made you realize that you wanted to be or that you were an actor, you know? You know, there have been so many different kind of milestones in my life about my, my relationship with my work <laughs> and about how I feel about acting yep. and some of them positive and some of them negative. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the, of course, the first time I remember my first commercial, I remember being three years old and uh, being asked to, I was a Coppertone kid in this television spot and being asked to wear a bikini and I didn't want to wear the top because I didn't wear a top in mm -hmm. my family. Yeah, I remember all that. I remember <laughs> jumping into the cold water in Sacramento. I remember all that. Uh, but I think the first time that I really recognized what being an actor was and that in fact I had kind of been giving it short shift I think until I was 12 I thought that acting was just being yourself and acting natural mm -hmm. and pretty much that's what directors said to me they would say act natural act natural so I thought that was all it was and I thought what a dumb job this is really a dumb <laughs> job and I certainly don't want to do this when I grow up mm -hmm. um, and then at 12 I realized that in some ways once I did tax driver mm -hmm. I think I realized that I hadn't been giving it the focus and that there was so much more to get from the experience and so much more about building a character and about uh, going deeper inside a character that's not you. Um, and it, that was a big revelation for me. I read uh, an article that, or an interview that you did with Roger Ebert a few years after Taxi Driver uh -huh. and I was surprised because you said, quote, I'm sure I said a lot of really stupid uh, No, things. it's not stupid, but it was just, I, I wonder if it was, if you were just being humble about it, but you said, quote, I'm a technician. I don't go for the get into the role stuff. I read the lines and play the scenes. Any actor working a long time should know how a shot is set up, where to place themselves, how to handle the lines. I'm a member of the crew, like the best boy, like the electrician. What I'm good at is making eyes at the camera. Now, if that was true... Eyes at the camera? I don't think I said that. <laughs> that part you didn't say? Okay. Well... I, I was, what, 15. So I'm sure I said a lot of stupid things at 15. However, I think that's true. I think that that's how I see myself. I see myself as one person among 125 people that are in the process of trying to tell a story. And um, I know how important the actors are, because I'm a director, mm -hmm. so I know that, that there are two things that can completely ruin your film. Mm -hmm. One is weather, and the other is the actors. Mm -hmm. And um, that you know you better cast the right person, because mm -hmm. even though you can tell them everything about the movie, ultimately it's all in their hands, the character's in their hands, and that really is the great richness of the film. So it's not that I don't appreciate actors, but I do see myself as you know, one member among 125 people trying to tell that story. A question about child acting, just because you've also, aside from obviously being a very successful child actor, you've worked with so many, I think, as a co-star and director. And um, you hear, at, on the outside, I, I hear a lot of stories about, you know, just sort of uh, almost horror stories about the experiences of child actors where, and, and the parents often, um, whether it was, uh, you know, being pressured to work or misappropriating the earnings or whatever. And I just wonder, do, how do you look back on your experience as a child actor and, and also was it, you know, the role that your parents played right. during that time? Well, I don't have horror stories yeah. about being a child actor. I mean, I have, I have, there are certain days that were bad for me. There were mm -hmm. things that were bad for me. Like, um, it is not a natural thing to have not only to put your child in that uh, relationship with grown-ups and in that situation, a high-pressure situation like that, but it's not natural to have that relationship between a parent and a child, you know, managing their career and all of that. So, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of weird stuff there, but I don't regret a second of it. I mean, I feel like it was an incredible adventure, and uh, it was sort of like if I said to you I was raised in China. I mean, it's kind of like that. I was... You know, the things that I've done as a kid are just extraordinary, and I would never, never turn back time and change that. That being said, I don't think that I would, uh, I've never been interested in kind of shoving my kids in that direction at all. And any time that they've ever said to me that they wanted to be on camera, I say to them, oh, so you'd like to take uh, an acting class, a uh, theater <laughs> acting class over down the street? And they're like, no. Well, well when that's, you're... That's, that's how you do it. So. No, absolutely. That'll scare off most people, I guess. But in your case, when you're starting at three, was it, was it, could it have been in some ways? Was it of your own? When did it become your decision that this is what you wanted to do? That's a good question because, you know, periodically... I've affirmed that it was my decision mm -hmm. as years have gone on. But then, you know, you get dragged. 
I, it's it's it was, it was a family business in some ways. Mm -hmm. So I get dragged through those expectations as well. So mm -hmm. yes, at 12, I had that revolution on Taxi Driver where I was like, wow, this is an amazing job and mm -hmm. this is something that's fulfilling. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize it was ever going to be fulfilling. I thought it was just going to be boring. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody want to say words that someone else wrote? <laughs> that just seems like a dumb job. Uh, but as time went on, I understood that that's not all that I was bringing to the table and that, in fact, I hadn't been bringing enough to the table. Mm -hmm.